Hello, this is Gary Simon of GarySimon.net, designcourse.com, and also a course instructor at Envato Networks, tootsplus.com. So in this free tutorial, we're going to go ahead and take a look at designing a logo design in Adobe Illustrator CC. And this I uh, actually just released two days ago. Uh, and there are some improvements, but largely there's not a huge difference, especially when it concerns logo design uh, between previous versions. So if you have a previous version, don't worry, you'll probably be able to follow, follow along just fine. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is go to File New, and we'll just name this Logo Project. And I'm going to set my width and height at 750 by 500 points and we can leave all of the rest of this same so let's hit OK and that popped up in a new window one second alright so if you hit control 1 we can get back to a hundred percent okay so uh, our fictional company uh, for our logo is going to be called In Blood and this is just going to be for a TV series, okay? Um, it doesn't exist, it's just completely fictional. Uh, and I came up with it just out of nowhere. I don't know why, but this is it. So the first thing we'll do with the type tool is type in blood. Now ordinarily, when it comes to designing logos, uh, you would first sit down and you would sketch out ideas that pertain to potential logo design concepts. Now I already came up with one that I thought would work well. And so that would be I uh, taking this in and actually putting it in blood. I uh, So let me just show you what I mean. I'm going to take the ellipse tool right here and just with this red color right here in the swatches panel, I'm going to make that our foreground and I'm going to hold shift and just create a sphere. Alright, so if we go here to our layers panel and drop this down, we can position this layer beneath the in type. So now if we move this over here, we'll see it is in this uh, circle. So to make it actually look like more like blood, we're not going it's not going to be a perfect sphere. Uh, but before I do that, let's go ahead and make the type white. And I'm going to use a free font, which I will link in the description of this video, uh, called Station. Station Medium. And it's just kind of like a bubbly font. Uh, so now what I want to do is go ahead and make this more of a kind of like a envelope seal type of blood spatter. Uh, so what we'll do is we will zoom up. And then we will take the pen tool. And if you've never used the pen tool, don't worry. It just takes a little bit of time getting used to. But I'm just going to click up around here. And you don't have to follow me exactly. Uh, it's not an exact science. You can do however you want this uh, to appear. So we'll just left click and drag. Oops, sorry. Left click and drag. And then left click and drag around here again. And what we want to do is just kind of stay around this general uh, circle. So we'll do this a few more times. And we want it to end up real nice right around there. We want it to flow well. Okay. So now what we can do is we can delete this circle back here. And then we can position once again uh, the shape that we just created beneath the in. All right, so let's go ahead and just position both of these over here. Uh, and then what we'll do is uh, control C and then control F so we can copy it. And let's first go ahead and make this that red color right here. And then we'll type blood, which is our full uh, name. So Real quickly, I just want to go over this and see if uh, this area right here is just a little bit too turbulent if we compare it to the rest of the shape. So 
we can always just come in here with this tool, the direct selection tool, and adjust any of these points to smooth it out or make any adjustments that we think are necessary. So let's see here. And again, uh, you can you can do yours however you wish. Uh, it's not a, an exact science right now. Okay. Okay, so now what we want to do is this in right here, we don't want this to actually exist. We want this right here to be a single shape. So what I mean by that is this. What we'll do is take our type. Now, right now, we can edit it and you know make it anything we want. But now that we know it's obviously going to be in, we want to convert this to an outline or to a path. So let's go to Object, Path. Oops, one second. First, we go to Control Shift and O, and then that creates the outlines. And then we go to Object Path. Now this won't work. If we try to hit Divide Objects Below, it will give us this error. So the reason that is is because it's currently in a group because we have two letters here. So all we have to do is right click and go to Ungroup. So now we can select the letters individually. Go to Object Path Divide Objects Below. Now that changes the color here, which we can just go ahead and change back. Now we have the in that, or the I rather, that we need to do the same thing with. Now, because there's a dot here, we have two different shapes, and this is called a compound. So what we can do is right click, release compound path. So now we could select just that portion of the I and go to object, path, divide objects below. And then finally, we have the circle and the I up here, and we'll do the same thing. Okay, so now that we've done that, we can go ahead and select the, uh, the N, and then just hit the delete key. Now we are in the background right here. So let's do the same thing for the I, and also the top of the I. So now this is one shape. There's only, uh, oh yeah, we can delete these two paths beneath. All right, so now it is just a single shape. And you can see only uh, we have the group here selected, but really this doesn't need to be group. We can hit ungroup. And uh, we have our path right here. Okay, so when you're designing a logo, you have to make sure, absolutely you have to make sure that your logo works well in black and white. And obviously all you have to do is uh, change the color to black. And Another thing you have to make sure about your logo is that it scales well. So what that means is, uh, really quick, I'm just going uh, to convert this to a path, Control, Shift, and O. So if we go ahead and scale this down a lot, we want it to be identifiable, we want it to be readable still, and it is, and that's very good. So simple is always better uh, in terms of logo design when it comes to readability. So let's go ahead and scale that back up so we know our logo works well in black and white which is great uh, and if you were designing for a client or just yourself or for a personal project you would go ahead and export this very basic version of our logo uh, in multiple formats for example we would save it obviously as uh, an Adobe Illustrator file AI which is 100% vector we could save it as an EPS uh, and then we can also export it in a, in a number of different formats down here like a PSD or JPG etc etc uh, and then we also denote those as the file names with you know dash black uh, this is the most simple version uh, then we would create a second variation where it's containing our actual colors. Uh, so if we wanted our official color to be the CMYK red right here, we would also go ahead and ex export those and save those as our, uh, our files and denote that as like, for example, dash red. Uh, and then uh, it's typical that we see uh, in areas that a logo where it's displayed, uh, there are no restrictions. Like for example, on the website, uh, or in print, uh, if there's no restrictions in terms of colors, uh, you, you'll see a lot of big brands 
uh, their logo will be very diverse with uh, a lot of colors and gradients, etc. So that's completely acceptable if we wanted to create a more elaborate version of our in blood. So let's go ahead and do that. And what I'll do is just scale that up a little bit. And so to give this some depth, uh, what we'll do is add some shadows uh, inside this blood here to make it look like it's uh, 3D a little bit. So let's go ahead with our pen tool and I'm going to select a darker red, just right around here. And we'll go ahead and click down here and we're just gonna follow the bottom of this. And I just hit uh, Control Z just to undo uh, if you place a point that's not accurate. So let's just go ahead and follow this. Oops, follow down. Okay. And then we can add a highlight up here. So if we take this color right here, we'll double click it and then just choose a lighter hue up there. We can go ahead with the pen tool and do the same thing except on the top now. And actually, I may want to just end it right there because that eye will clash with it a little bit. So we'll start right back up here. Okay, so now if I go to Control One uh, and zoom out to or zoom back to 100%, we'll see that it actually has a little bit of, uh, I guess you could call, uh, a depth to it. So we could take this a little bit further. Um, let's see here. We could go ahead around each one of these, for example, right here. Now the way we have the, the, the light coming from is pretty much from this upper left angle. So if we zoom up a little bit more, we can go ahead and oops and add this. And just right back up. And then continue it right here. Okay, and once more up here, and we do want to make sure these are all even in terms of their positioning around the actual letters. And then we could take our uh, shadow color down here, and then with the pen tool, You can add one underneath. Then we can take this, Control C, then Control F, and hold the shift and move it over. And then finally, one more right here. Okay, so that's uh, one way that we can go ahead and actually I will, just to make this consistent, I will add the shadow and highlight portions around this circle here. And take our highlight or shadow rather and add it around here okay all right so if I zoom this up so we can get a better look at this we can see that it definitely looks pretty cool um, so what we could do now I uh, say for example if we wanted to present this to a client or something I uh, of course we would always show it on a white background um, but we could even do a little bit more with this and let's say for example uh, we wanted to go to deviantart.com 
and we wanted to get like a, a kind of like a blood background. So this is a great site in um, which you can use and you can find free stock uh, and resource files. So if we go down here to resources and stock images and take something like blood background, we could see that we have some uh, different options to choose from. So if we choose this one, paint blood spatter texture, we could see that the uh, author has given a description and it also lets you know how you can use this. So you can use this image in your digital art, etc. There's no need to note me, just leave a comment here or on the stock page that you used. Uh, so if you wanted to download this, then we could just go ahead and click download image. And let me scale that down because it made this massive uh, pop up. Now I'm just going to right click and hit copy image. And I will go back to Illustrator and I'm going to select everything and just hit group real quick. So that puts everything in a group layer. And then I'm going to hit control V to paste. So this image is massive, so I have to scale it down a lot. So I'm just going to hit Shift and Alt together while scaling it down. Okay. And then I'm just going to stretch it just to fill up the canvas and then put it in the back and just change the opacity down to like 40% or so. And that way we can present the logo kind of in a different medium. Um, so if I were to present this logo, you would also, for example, uh, we could save this as one variation or we could just take this, let me lock the layer real quick and hit, well first I'm gonna scale it down by holding shift and then hit control C and then control F. So we would, want, we would definitely want to show the black and white version. Uh, so, and also just the, a single color version with our actual red color and then this version right here. So I'll make this on our big version. And this one will just be all black. This one will be our red color. And actually I'll position those at the bottom here. And that is our logo. So I, I hope you learned a little bit uh, and enjoyed the tutorial. All right. Uh, if you have any questions, just go ahead and post in the comments area, and I will attempt to answer them. All right. Thanks a lot. Talk to you later. Goodbye.